Hey everybody, this is my, I don't know if I've done this video yet, but this is a New Orleans likes and dislikes. The only few dislikes I have about moms. You know, people are partying, of course, in Bourbon Street, and there's noise like every city. And pollution, of course, Katrina. The, the damage that it did to that city, not to mention, you know, go for and Biloxi and Wayland and Basin Lewis and Bash Christian and, and Mobile. And, you know, it's been 10 years and it's still hard for so many people. You know, I've read the book by CNN, I don't know if she still works at CNN, Kathleen Kosh. She wrote a book called Rising from Katrina. She was from the South, and Robert and Roberts from Good Morning America is from Bay St. Louis, and that was obviously a hit. And she, you know, well, Kathleen lost many people that she, you know, you know, many friends, and so many people did, you know, too far. Many of those people were able to move on that weather in a storm, literally. And there's a documentary in the world, it's called Hurricane Bayou. And they have this My Favorite Fiddler, Manishaw, Chubby Carrier, Tab Benoit, the late Alan Toussaint, and the late Marva Wright. And it's about the wetlands and I think everybody should check it out and check out Amanda, please, and on YouTube. I just posted a video from that somebody posted onto her official fan club site, and that was you know, pretty fun because I really want to see her again. Yeah, that's a different story, so. The fun things, the music, like Amanda. And the architecture. I mean, it's been there for so long and been through so many things. You know, like the hurricanes and not the drink. Obviously, I get it without alcohol. My friend gets it with it, though, but. You know, which I don't mind as long as she doesn't get crazy. You know, like many people do and start going woo and you know the thing with the beads you know I would never do that but yeah it's the history like I said it's been through it's ups and downs like in a city and I've been there about four times now the first was in 2009 it was actually Katrina's fifth anniversary and it was Rui Caliente. It was being at the end of August. I mean, all of the South is hot. Look at Vegas, Phoenix, Texas, Mississippi, Florida, Alabama, Georgia. But, you know, of course, with Phoenix and Vegas, it's dry heat, so that's why it's so hot. But it's a different story. But the second time we went was 2000. We went in 2012 and then 14. Maybe it's been three times, but last time I went, the second time I went was for Jazz Fest, 2012, and it rained the day we went to see Amanda. Actually, the first time we went, we went at, a, at Lafayette Square, and I posted that on my Facebook page, too, from when she was there on Wednesday. It was kind of fun, but last year it was brutally hot, crowded, and I mean, I think everybody wanted to see Elton John that night. And we were there from like 12 to, you know, after 5, of course, by the time we left, my phone was dead, and we had to go back to the hotel and charge it. 
and then we went to dinner, and then we went to Bourbon Street, and it just, it was just, it was just fun, a little crazy, but, you know. and a few years ago, I was there with my friend, her mom, her sister, and her husband, that would be a brother-in-law, it was a lot of fun, we were on one of the balconies up in Bourbon Street, and if anybody didn't know, you have to pay money to go up there and hang out. It was pretty awesome because uh, everybody's in a festive mood, especially between the weekend and the fest, jazz fest, and like Mardi Gras. You know, everybody's, you know, brings people back to that city. I mean, it was so. You know, Mardi Gras was only, what, February? I think it was February 9th, it was early this year, but in 2006, they almost didn't have it because of Katrina. I mean, it was just months earlier, and the city was still devastated by the storm and everything, and people hadn't returned yet, you know. I mean, people weren't allowed to go into the city until weeks after, or months after the storm, and they couldn't go back to school or anything, and including Amanda, whose school was flooded, unfortunately. Like a lot of thing, good things. But, you know, anyway. Yeah, so you know a couple of people who, at least one person I know has been there. And a few others, uh, I can think of a couple that might not like this moments, but. Um, I love that. It's a beautiful city. Get to see the Mississippi there too. I see it here a lot. When we go to Iowa, there it's a little cleaner. Here it's kind of brown, brown money yuck. But it's a fun city. I love you in New Orleans. I say this about September 11th. Time has managed to heal some wounds, but those events will always be there somewhere. You know, I want to think about it now and you know, what happened. I'm going to put, put one of Amanda's songs in the video, so I will see everybody. Soon I'm gonna do a video on my girl next. So, Lasse Eleven Temps for Lay. Bye, everybody.